you just point the camera and all of a sudden this edited movie just comes out. This is actually what it's like. This is Nick showing me how to do multicam and waiting for rendering and what else? Yeah. How's your music coming, Nick? What music? <laughs> it's true, we do have chickens this time. That's a highlight. And you caught some oysters? How about the intro is just like slow-mo of chickens walking around? <laughs> Well, it's a sad day, but it was bound to happen. We scratched our wrap. I'm not taking full responsibility here. I'd say my docking was as close to perfect as you can get. We did have one overzealous helper with the docking who pulled us in a little too close. And somehow we found the one exposed nail on the piling. Uh-huh. Here's the result. We are in Whitehall Creek, just north of Annapolis, and we're at a really nice person's house, our patron, Sandra, who has offered to take us around DC. I have never been to DC. I've made it 47 years, never been to our country's capital. Okay, Nick makes me so nervous when he jumps off the boat. And this one is next level because <laughs> there's a rope and an angle and I'm not even sure I should film this. I always wanted to be a ballerina. Oh my god, you, this is, is that called parquet? It's parkour, not parkour. parquet. <laughs> oh, you are tempting fate. Ooh. <laughs> I've got cameras in here too. <laughs> and I don't think you want to get in this water. Why not? Now I want to see that's you do it. That's where the crabs live. Are you, there's no way. I'll show you how the old ladies do it. Ah, uh, old, la old lady cam. Okay. <laughs> you should have seen me last night at midnight coming home and the tide was so low that I had to belly flop onto the boat. Belly flop? Yes. You did not I <gasps> Oh, nice. Oh, can you get that? No. <laughs> Nick, it's going to sink away. It is going to sink away. Look how gross that is. Nick. And we missed you flopping down. Oh, good. <laughs> that was my distraction tool. Oh, hello. Hi, happiness. Hi, happiness. Hi, Hi, happiness. Hi, 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 she just does, I call it the happy what is I'm a really good driver. You are a good driver. <laughs> I love not having to drive, I gotta say. Playing tourist. Well, drive-by tourist. We're getting the quick and scenic tour. The view from the car. Yeah, there's a lot to see in Washington. The architecture is, it's impressive. It's built to impress. I can see why people walk around here with such big egos. They're big ego buildings, they're big ego ideas. Well, I think that it's, uh, it's a lovely contrast to what we're used to, which is a whole lot of nature. So interesting and cool to see where all the action that we see on TV and on the news is actually happening. That's, that's pretty surreal. This is where they're getting a whole lot of nothing done. <laughs> I'm so impressed actually. It's way more beautiful than I expected. And it really makes me want to come and spend like a few days here and rent bikes and scooters and go through the museum. So I definitely am going to come back here. The what, what are we Exorcist looking? stairs. What are the exorcist stairs? The movie? They filmed the exorcist here? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're the exercise stairs now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, who gets to drive? <laughs> you. I do. The tour continues. We're in rural, I like saying that, we're rural Maryland, outside of Annapolis. Our friend Sanders has been so kind to host us for the last few days. And now we're borrowing our car. It's a bug. So we can visit our other friends who've been receiving some mail, including some gifts from our other friends. <laughs> I mean, how did this happen? 
Is it just that people are so friggin' cool? I say it's because people are so friggin' cool. We are at Peter and Kathy's house. <laughs> I feel like I know him already. It's <laughs> rigged. Oh, look at these puppy doggies. Are you out of that line or is that open? Yeah. That sail ride's got more miles than your bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he was you a puppy up? when we got him. So really? Who would give you up? I don't understand it at all. <laughs> you don't have time for a bread maker. I thought this was super easy. <laughs> This is, this is, it takes time and effort? What is this? There you go. Oh, the laptop. Oh, from David. Made us uh, crabs and potato salad and fresh sangria. Virgin sangria, by the way. <laughs> I love her, you. Aww. Oh, you're yeah. bubble, That is quite a tongue. 315, something like that. <laughs> He's a big boy. <laughs> and if I had one here, it would be like laces. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> big thanks to Peter and Kathy, who not only stoked us out with an awesome meal there on Kent Island, but gave us a hat and what this is an apron, dish towel. They also solved one of our biggest challenges that we have when we're traveling, which is receiving mail. It's it's mail time. These LEDs are the last of the replacements of the halogen lights and the uh, incandescent bulbs that we had on the boat. So now all the bathrooms are gonna have LEDs. It saves some energy and it's actually brighter than the old halogens that we're replacing. Oh, we are in trouble now. David and Jane, we met in Charleston. Those guys brought us some fresh bread for Megan's birthday and delivered it by boat and boat hook. And how generous of them to go ahead and buy us a bread maker so we can have fresh bread on board. Thank you, David and Jane. Really appreciate it. Hey, wait, this is my name. <laughs> you what are you do doing? It? <laughs> Here you go. Look at that beauty. <laughs> what a generous gift. That video is brought to you by this. This bad boy, God. Eric, keep... Eric. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's even got the, oh, that's a clean screen. Wow. Wow. If you need one thing to get the party rolling making videos, it's coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And we have a double thank you. Let me see this. Casey, so Casey, he roasts his own coffee. It begins with a dark, broad reach jibing into a smooth down sundowning kind gesture i gotta smell this case to use english as the main language <laughs> press the return key mm, this smells so good oh i can't wait to try that we got two doses of coffee and this is from carl and susie so thank you guys wow <laughs> carl and susie you guys are really generous yeah. donating to our paypal yeah. patrons wow Oh. Just decaf, that's from me. Oh. Black Rifle Coffee, wow. That's some serious coffee. Blackbeard's Delight, serving premium coffee to people who love America. Yes. We Vet love America, for veteran, sure. Veteran owned, that's cool. This is fun. And thank you everybody for sending these. Well, thanks everybody. Now it's time to get to work installing the <laughs> lights and making bread and making coffee. And making videos. Making videos. <laughs> we love coffee so much, we named our Patreon tiers after <laughs> different types of coffee. <laughs> Single shot, double shot, you get the point. Carl and Susie has sent us this new coffee, which we've never heard of, never tried, so we're gonna test it out today. Take a break from responding to comments and try Ooh. this coffee. Mmm. <sighs> mm. Oh, this tastes like a warm meadow full of dandelions with leprechauns springing back and forth from clover to clover. This really is a very smooth, smooth coffee. In fact, I'll use my smooth, smooth voice to describe how nice and mellow this coffee is. 
liquid life flowing into my body. Can you see the regeneration happening? The smile returning to my face. All from this cup of Black Rifle Coffee. <sighs> Black Rifle Coffee. Right on target. <laughs> Casey, I'm telling you, you have something here. The smell of this, I wish you all could smell it. We're actually gonna become a distributor for Casey's coffee. Mmm, <laughs> I'm gonna have it straight too. It smells really good. It does. Ooh, it's nice, it's perfect. It's not too strong. It's like really bold, but like, no, it's not acidic-y. I'm getting some tannins. I'm getting some. Is it? Is that? Is that white oak? It smells like a butterfly landing on a flower, a roasted flower. It doesn't even need cream. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Casey. This is really a treat for us. Really love it. We see these guys all over the bay, and you know me. I'm a fan of pretty much anything that floats and has a motor or sails. And uh, you know, these boats are just kind of fascinating to me. Plus I ran into a guy with a really cool name. Nicholas. That's I'm it. Nick. Hey, first of all, what are you guys doing out there? Uh, catching Maryland blue crabs. We also oyster, uh, soft shell clam, razor clam, white perch, rockfish. As the seasons change, we change. So tell me about this ride. This is pretty cool. What's all it called? Right. This is the Diamondback. 46, 47 feet? 46. The Chesapeake Bay Dead Rise, that's what we call them. Dead Rise. Dead Rise, that's what, just the way the bow comes up. Kinda was built just for the Chesapeake Bay and the, cause it's kind of a short choppy sea a lot of times. It's not the big rollers about, about like in the ocean. So with the Dead Rise, it's made to just kinda bang, bang, you know. Punch through it. Punch through it, get, you know, and still be able to, you know, it cruises like 17 knots. And, uh. 17? That's a 450. <laughs> yeah. All ours are single screw, just it makes fuel economy a little easier. Just got the Garmin, chart plotter, and we use that a lot for like setting our lines back. We always keep an eye on the water temperature. 51, 52 is like what I like, and that'll get the crab at least moving, you know. Because uh, it's too cold, they're they're cold blooded, and they just yeah, they'll just it. they'll bury right into the mud, and that's where they spend the whole winter. All right, so this is this is the one that does all the work on the boat, basically. Wind the winder, and uh, it's powered with a hydraulic foot pedal. So I stand here, and uh, my, one of my crew members stands basically where you are, and uh, the line goes through here through here and then goes into the trash can and then I basically run the winder with my foot and just run the boat. Where's the term waterman come from? Uh because it's a pretty badass Yeah waterman term. is it's more of like a Chesapeake region term than than like you know I know like on the west coast they call them crab fishermen mm -hmm. or you know or oystermen. Well on Chesapeake Bay you had to be able to change in a heartbeat like crabbing, clamming, oystering. I mean, there's guys that turtle, there's guys that, you know, white perch, catfish. So that's where the waterman term, it's like anything on the water, you know. Different. We have uh, we have just a buoy on each end and we have a 3,000 foot line that it's connected to with a, a trap every 100 foot. So basically it makes it a little easier for the boater. All they gotta do is miss one of these on each end and you know, all our traps will still be there. So yeah. I can cut across between them though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, it's then, funny, somebody else told me the exact opposite. Say, hey, don't go between the flagged buoys. Oh no, no. <laughs> I mean, I came with my dad every day that I wasn't in school, you know, like, and when, when he got in, I could go up to my grandmother's and get lunch and like cool off and, or I could stay there and meet him down the boat, so. You're a lucky man. Oh, I am, and uh, it's been, I, you know, it's fun, especially, you know, like working around my dad and stuff. It's been So that's fun. your dad's boat? Yeah. How do you celebrate <laughs> the 
kindness <laughs> of a host, there's only one way I know. <laughs> Tacos. <laughs> Tacos and root beer. <laughs> Sandra, thank you so much. Oh, you guys are welcome. <laughs> My great. pleasure. So you much guys. fun. You guys are so much fun. Thank you. I'm In this so area, awesome. people just have like a good vibe. About I know. Going to new places, having unlimited time, beaches, clear water, it's all fantastic. But the highlight always of any place that we visit, it's the people that we meet. Those are the memories that stick with us. The hardest part is saying goodbye. But with today's technology, you're not really saying goodbye. You're just saying, I'll see you soon. That's right. I love that about technology today. And we can stay connected with you. As always, we really appreciate your comments, your suggestions, of course, the thumbs up. The subscriptions are always great too. Thank you so much. And special thanks to our patrons. We really appreciate your contributions and community. In the meantime, we are melting. Can you see the sweat dripping off of us? Wherever you are, we hope you're doing okay and, and staying cool. All right, see you next week.